You two, we are here today with Clayton, and he is with his home lab. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Programming with Clayton. Today, we're going to be going over some Factory Talk View Studio on a Panel View Plus 1000. As you can see, I've developed some screens here. We have a clear well and a valve, typical plant process. We've also developed a screen for a pump. We have a pump control pop up. We have a valve control pop up. And we also have a temperature trend. As you can see over here on my panel view, I've already created my runtime file and loaded it. Here we have the clear well and the valve. If you'll notice, we'll go into remote and our valve now shows that we're in remote. Let's go ahead and let's take this thing out of manual control and put it in auto control. Okay, we're going to simulate the tank level coming up, and as we do, you should see the valve go open and the pump start. Show you the pump real quick. So we're going to go ahead and bring that level up. Or excuse me, bring the level down. Now, as you can see, the valve went open, the pump turned on. Now, as we simulate the, the tank level rising, the valve should close and my pump should shut off. Here we see the valves went closed and the pump shut off. Let's go ahead and go back to manual control. At that point, we could operate the valve as we please. The valve's closed. Let's go ahead and open that valve. Now, as you can see, the valve went open. We could also now start our pump. If we go back to our main screen, you can see at the top we're logging the... Uh, temperature of my bedroom. If we click on that, you can see we get a real-time trend of my bedroom temperature with the pin on the right hand side. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, just a few things you can do with RS Logix 5000 and Factory Talk View Studio. Join in next week where we'll go over MicroLogic and RS Logix 500. Thank you again. And we're out.